So 7a, past models, yeah, 7a. If you are very sure, like when I say very sure, uh, mathematically, like 80%, 90%, I say, not 100%, right? So if you are talking about past thing and you are very sure about that, we use must. Like I must have left my phone at Anna's. I definitely remember having it there. You must have seen something. Look, you must have seen something. You were there when the accident happened. Okay. Uh, the opposite actually can't have, not mustn't have, sorry guys. Can't have something. You are sure that something didn't happen. Can't have. We don't say mustn't have. Number two, if the degree is low, we use might and may or could, and after that have, when we think it's possible, it means like 50, 60% probability, something happened or was true. We can also use may and might not have, but not couldn't, as I said earlier. Negative, we can use might, may not have, might not have in the same way, but negative meaning to talk about the possibility that something didn't happen but couldn't know. Example, as you can see, we got example here. Somebody might have stolen your wallet when you were getting off the train. I wonder why she is not here. I suppose she could have forgotten about the meeting. I'm not really sure, but I'm just trying to guess. He still hasn't arrived. I may not have given him the right direction, you see? Or I might not have given him the right direction. Last point, as you can see, can't have gone or couldn't have seen. Same meaning. It means can't have and couldn't have. When we are almost sure, like very certain, something didn't happen or impossible things. We only use couldn't have when the speculation is about the distant past. Distant past, long past. Like they could have been, they couldn't have been married. They both died young. I'm talking about very old time, old time. But when we talk about yesterday, maybe, or two days ago, things very like recent past, it's better to use can't have gone, can't have. But distant past, like long past, we use couldn't have. This is the slight difference between them. The last thing is should have. And from the previous you know, lessons, we know that should equals to or to, guys. I should go, I ought to go. The same thing, but or to is a bit more formal. So if I want to criticize something, criticize, or if I want to give late advice, we call it. It's advice, but it's too late. It's happened. This is, you can't reverse it. I'm late advice. I say should have past participle or ought to have past participle. Negative shouldn't and ought, ought not to. We've gone the wrong way. We should have turned left at the traffic lights. It's too late now. It's my fault. I ought to have told you earlier that my party was on Saturday. I didn't tell you. And now I'm kind of regretting. So here, should and shouldn't have plus past participle to say that somebody didn't do the right thing. And we're expressing the regret or criticism. Criticism. Uh, we can use ought and ought not to, or oughtn't, as an alternative to should and shouldn't. As you can see, I ought to have told you earlier. I, mean, I didn't tell you and I'm regretting now, so I ought to have told you earlier. Must have and should have, completely different meanings. She should have phoned me, look at that. She should have phoned me, it means uh, I told her to phone me, but she didn't. But now, she must have phoned me. I'm sure she phoned me. I think that missed call was her number. I didn't ask her to call me. But I'm just kind of guessing and with high probability. But it was there was no agreement. There was no agreement. Eh? I'm sure she phoned me. I think that missed call was her number. But yes, yeah, she should have phoned me. She didn't call me. But there was agreement. And I'm... I'm Annoyed now a bit. There was agreement. I was expecting her call, but she didn't. So she should have called me. But here there was no agreement. But I'm just guessing. Someone called me. Someone called me, and I'm trying to guess. Uh, it's a missed call, and I, I can't see the name. So 
it must have been her right and that's it now we do exercise any questions before we do the exercise guys is everything clear is that good good yeah it's good i hope i didn't confuse you so i'm going to give some time for uh, a part it says what rewrite the bold sentences using must or might or negative can't have a verb so like here i'm certain it means like must i left my umbrella at home so i must have left my umbrella at home holy is crying perhaps it means might perhaps might because the 50 percent probable yeah? or possible thing perhaps she had an argument with her boyfriend and and so on so i'm going to be silent maybe like Four minutes and then we discuss together. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's do it together. Uh, was going on? We'd like to try the first one, please. Uh, she might have had an argument with her boyfriend. That's correct. So she might. Give me a second, guys. A bit bigger. Yeah. So she might have had an argument with her boyfriend. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, Sadaka, you want to try number two? Okay. Um, ben must have read my email. Uh -huh, very good. So I'm sure Ben has read my email. So Ben must have read my email. Okay, good. So must have read my email ben must have read my email very good number three um fardus um number three i'm sure sam i'm really happy to go to class mm -hmm. okay they must not Mm -hmm. we can't they must not can't. have uh, can't, can't, they can't. must not have got lost I'm sure Sam and Jenny haven't got lost. So if you want to talk about impossible thing, we use can't, uh, Ferdus. So they can't um, have, they can't what? have got lost. Okay. They can't have got lost. You understand, yeah? Yes. yes, yes. They can't have got lost. Abdurrahman, you saw Ali yesterday. Okay. That's impossible. <laughs> You saw Ellie yesterday. That's impossible. She mm -hmm. was in bed with flu. You can't have you can't, seen her yesterday. You can't have seen Ellie uh -huh. yesterday. Very good. Uh, I, I wrote hair. You can't have. What? What? I wrote like uh, hair, but I. No, you can't have seen would be the answer. You can't have seen Ellie. No, I write like. Uh, uh, her, I write like. Oh, you uh, can't you have can... seen her. Yeah. Okay. Her yesterday. That's good. You can't have seen her yesterday. Very good. As long as we take the modal part correct, that's what I, you know, I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm after. You can't have seen Ellie yesterday. Good. Was going that again? Number five. Uh, John might not have seen you. Ah, perhaps John didn't see you. So John might not have seen you might okay just give me a second yes might not have seen you that's correct Sadaqat six Lucy must have bought a new car mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lucy must have bought you see must have bought so uh, we need to work on pronunciation as well, like must have bought. English people, they never say that, like must have bought, must have bought. Okay, so must have bought a uh, new car. Okay, Fardus. Okay. I'm sure. Um... Alex wasn't very ill, so we need to use can't, huh? Alex? Alex can't. Um... Can't have, no. Can't. can't have, yes, yes, yes. Can't have, huh? First participle of uh, can't what? Can't have. Huh. 
you can't have um uh -huh. I'm sure Alex can't have been had been no been okay. yeah. the was here uh, for this was is B was where yes. a is are and past participle of it is been so been. Alex can't have been very ill mm -hmm. Abdul Rahman okay number eight number eight yes they didn't go to Tom's wedding. Maybe they went invited. Uh -huh. um, maybe they went invited. So? They might. They might. They might have not. They might been not. Invited. They might have been invited. Yeah, they might not have been invited. <laughs> See? They might not have been invited. Yes, Fardus, back to you again. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, uh, Uzgunur, yes, sorry. Uzgunur, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. You must have used too much, much sugar. Yes. So you must have used. You must have used too much sugar. Yes. Uh, Sadaqat. It definitely wasn't my phone. Um, mine was on silent. It mustn't have been my phone. It can't. I can't. Yeah. As I said, look, you must have. A, you must have done positive. The negative of it, guys, can't have. We don't say mustn't, guys. We're not gonna do that. Okay. So it can't have been my phone or oh, it couldn't have been my phone right so it can't have been my phone we can also say couldn't but as i said couldn't we use for long past if i'm gonna talk about like one year ago two years ago thing yeah. but if it's like yesterday or two days ago it can't have been my phone is better great so now we're gonna work on b now guys B says what? It says we should respond to the first sentence using should and shouldn't have or ought or oughtn't to have and then verb from this list like criticizing or late advice or we would like to say that someone didn't do the right thing. Huh? So we're going to work on it. So let me give you some time and we discuss together. Okay, guys, we'll do it together now. Um, Fardus, number one is for you. Um, <clears throat> okay, Tom told me the date of his birth, but I have forgotten it. Mm -hmm. You ought, you ought have written it down. Which which one again? You ought. You ought to have. Uh huh. You ought to have. Yeah. Written, written, written down. down. Yeah, very good. So you ought to have written. Very good. Uh, we can also say you should have. No problem. Both okay. You ought to have written it down or you should have written it down. Okay, good, good. Abdurrahman, number two. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. That traffic was terrible. You here the metro is faster. Mm -hmm. uh, drive, use drive, drive, negative one. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have mm -hmm. drove here. You should, you shouldn't have driven. Driven. Uh huh. So you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have driven. You understand? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have dri you shouldn't have driven here. The metro is faster. Okay, now who's going there again? Three. You shouldn't have invited her. You shouldn't have invited. Amanda was rude to everyone at my party. Yeah, you shouldn't have invited. Shouldn't have invited. Good. Sadaqat? Uh, you shouldn't have bought so many shoes. Ah, you shouldn't have 
board. You shouldn't yeah? have board. Board. Very good. So we're going to do that now. I don't have any money left after going shopping. You shouldn't have bought. Okay. That's done. Great. And uh, Fardus again. Yes, Fardus. Okay. Um, I know I have. I know I should. I shouldn't have gone to bed. I should, I should have earlier. Like uh, you're yeah. really tired. I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. We can also say, let's make ought to this time. I ought to have. I ought to have gone. I ought to have gone to bed early last night. Yes, Abdurrahman, number six. Okay. The chicken says food. Um, I know you should have took it out of the freezer earlier. As possible, taken, yeah, Abdur. You should have, huh? Taken it out? Yes. You should have taken it out. You should have taken it out of the freezer earlier. Last one. Uh, you shouldn't have sat in the sun. You shouldn't have sat, yeah. I think I've burnt my face. I'm not surprised you shouldn't have. So let's make negative. This one was ought to. So you ought, oughtn't, right? So like, like this. You oughtn't to have sat. See? You oughtn't to have sat in the sun. Or we can also say you shouldn't have sat. Okay, guys? That's it. So the grammar is done. Now we're going to move to the main page now.